And, uh, so it, it's been I, worth the price of admission, ain't it? <laughs> dude, you don't even know, bro. I was like, I was ready to open up my wallet and tell you to just grab something, man. Just because I've like tried so many different groups and shit, like and like I've did like I tried doing like faster fuzz and shit like that, but man. What I've learned from you and Pace Morby, man, has like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just, it's just, my mind my mind is blown because I've been working on credit and trying to find all this cash and capital. And it's like, hold on. I could just get real estate without fucking having my credit checked and not doing all of this. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You've been sleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no mother dummy. This how we do. Yo, what up, Chris? Hey, how's it going? Hey, man, what's up, man? Get that, uh... Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting you to call. I was expecting for like an hour or something. I came out so I missed my car. Yeah, I was going to tell you real quick. I mean, it's real simple. I mean, I don't want you to go down a low, okay. unnecessary rabbit hole. If you're going to get them... Okay, okay. Now, if you're going to get them under contract, is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, so I, so I had it on the contract already. So uh, I just needed, you know, your documents to, you know, take over the mortgage payment. So I filled out all the documents that came in the package. You know, I, I went through that as best as I could. And uh, I just had a uh, few questions that I had just sent you via text. And I'm going to make it so easy. You're going to say, wow, it was that easy. You ready? I, yep. All right. All you need is the purchase and sales agreement. Complete it. Mm hmm and the mm -hmm. authorization to release information okay all that other stuff you can get it filled out at closing you don't need to fill out all that other stuff title company does all that and that's what i thought but i didn't want to assume that so i went through the trouble of just going through it just so <laughs> i don't want nobody to seem like i'm half asking nothing man before i ask the question because that's how it's just me that's just personally how i am and i don't like really I don't like asking for help unless I try. So. Yeah, but I, 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 you know, I want you to do the right thing and not burn a lot of calories unnecessarily. So we just need the purchase and sales agreement filled out properly. You know, get stating what you're trying to do, how much you're giving them, and how what you're taking over approximately. Um, and, mm -hmm. and we're gonna send that to title company, and they're gonna open escrow, and they're gonna deal with all that back end documents that you're doing there. Don't fill out any of that stuff. That stuff get all that all gets done at closing. Cause we got to do the title work. We don't even know if that's the only thing on that, on that house. Yeah. So you're not doing gotcha. tabletop closing. That's a little more advanced. When you learn how to do that, you could probably do that. But in this situation, that's not what we're doing now. This is going through title. Okay. Gotcha. So purchase gotcha. agreement, have them sign that authorization to release. So you have all their information about their loan so that you can speak to the bank. Everything else outside of that gets signed off and filled out at closing with the title company. Okay, so I've been, boy, I should have called you early today. No, I'm not trying to pick up <laughs> legal descriptions and all kinds of, I'm like, no, don't fill out. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you this was going to happen, but I'd rather, like, I'd rather it be like this than anything. I don't know. I, I, I like torture myself like that again. No problem. Anything else you're working on? You good to go for now? Uh, Yeah, I'm good to go for now. Uh, I guess on that part where I was saying about, uh, on the purchase agreement section 2B, where that's where I uh, insert the mortgage, uh, how much the mortgage is, right, per month. Yeah, if that's what it is, you're taking over a, a, a loan. That's why you need to know what yeah. uh, payment and stuff is. Also, if you can get their most recent mortgage statement, it'll give you all the information you need for that. Yeah, I have that, I have it. So typically I just write same as loan in that little spot. If it's like interest rate, uh, payment amount. Uh, I put same as okay. loan, exact as the loan. Okay. Because really, that purchase okay. payment is what we call the meeting of the minds between the seller and the buyer. You're just putting in mm -hmm. writing what you want the title company to set up for you to close. That's it. 
as long as they know what you're trying okay. to accomplish and it's in plain english where they can understand it that's what that purpose of that contract is to outline the details of what you're agreeing to got you got you you the man dog. i i i i'm I'm so grateful I found you, dog. Like straight up, man. You the straight man, dude. So it, it's been like, worth the price of admission, ain't it? <laughs> dude, you don't even know, bro. I was like, I was ready to open up my wallet and tell you to just grab something, man. Just because I've like tried so many different groups and shit, like and like I've did like I tried doing like faster fuzz and shit like that, but man, what I've learned from you and Pace Morby, man, has like. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just, it's just, my mind, my mind is blown because I've been working on credit and trying to find all this cash and capital. And it's like, hold on, I could just get real estate without fucking having my credit checked and not doing all of this. But now I know how to go get funding in case I need it, though. So I don't know, man. I'm just grateful. Yeah, you just keep it as as a uh, you know uh, something in your back pocket that you don't have to use. But if it, if the deal is worth it, you found say you find a. Uh, ARV or after repair value house of three hundred thousand, you can buy it for a hundred thousand. That's when you go pull that that ace of spades out of your pocket and slam it on the table. You say, "Hey, I'm gonna take this thing yeah. now, no matter what I gotta do," because you're getting all that equity. You see, that's the difference now. Yeah. First, yep. it's all oh, yeah, yes, we're buying it, we're getting, you know, we ain't really making nothing on it, you know, and, and and burning up your credit on silliness. You know what I mean? We can just buy the houses creatively and use that as needed, if needed, if the deal makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. All right. I'm going to knock out these other. All right, man. A, a lineup, a call to make. So I just want to get back to you quickly because I know yours was a quick fix. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I'll, see, I'll talk to you Sunday. All right. That'll work. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. See. Right. So that's how we do it. That was a quick coaching call. Now we're going to do a closing call with a foreclosure happening tomorrow. I don't know if I can help this guy, but we're going to see what happens. So give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share, if you care. So for those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. And I'm the creator, and what my man say, the proprietor of futurecashflowclub.com. That's my food club, Shay Shay. It's about some on the proprietor. These little big words. Proprietor. So yeah, futurecashflowclub.com. Check that out if you want to get more real estate training. So let me see what we got here. We got a somebody named uh, Carl. He got an auction coming up tomorrow, and we're going to see if we can help him out. Uh, let's see here. This was a referral from another investor locally here in St. Louis. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today.